Welcome back to the channel, Wrestling Maniacs, or should I say, Wrestling Firefly Maniacs, because we are the Firefly Funhouse. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you guys saw in the last video, we did the Ramblin' Rabbit unboxing. We got the Ramblin' Rabbit Brawler, and we got Abby the Witch Brawler over here, and they look 10 out of 10. I say they look awesome. They look so cool in the Firefly Funhouse, but... We still, but, 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 rewind that, but, because we still got more brawlers, because we're going to be okay, unboxing today, Mercy the Buzzard box. And let me tell you guys, or actually let me in, because I want to unbox these and get the other two brawlers out of this box and onto the Firefly Funhouse, but, too much butts, but let's get started. Alright, All right, so you just got to open the flaps. Welcome to me, Casa, or my home. And on top, we got, we get a shirt again. This time, or no, it's actually going to be the same exact, well, not the same exact thing, but we still get Mercy on a shirt again. I wish we, we would have gotten this one, Mercy, on the shirt. On the other one, maybe like Ramblin' Rabbit more of, instead of, instead of Mercy the Buzzard. Nothing against you, Mercy, just not showing you any Mercy, but... Whatever. Let me try this on, see how it actually fits. So be back. Alright, after trying it on, this one fit way better than the first one than the than the gray shirt with Mercy the Buzzard eating Ramblin' Rabbit. For some reason, it, on their website it says both of them are classic fit, 100% kind. So I don't know why this much better fit on me than the previous shirt. I don't know what's going on there, but you already know my fat ass had to get a large so it's the same size, but moving on from the shirt, let's keep going and see what's inside the box. All right, guys, and after finally, finally being able to take this, what seems to be an autograph by Mercy out of the box, it's pretty hard to get it out, but just a simple autograph by Mercy the Buzzer, pretty cool, just to collect his item, putting that on top of the shirt on the pile that we don't really care about. No, I'm just kidding. But... Before, again, like I said on the last video, before we get into all these accessories, let's take a quick look at the box. I don't know. I'm going to say this box was, I mean, I get it. It's He came in a cardboard, but you're paying money for cardboard, guys. It's cool, but I wish they would have added more detail on this or a little bit more things in the accessories just because the, they didn't really take the time to really make this box more than a cardboard looking box. So yeah, I mean, I could have written that with Sharpie to be honest, but I wouldn't have not been able to draw that. But look, if you take a look inside, we get a portrait of the fiend. Let's see what else is in there. Oh, uh, you got the loud mouth rambling rabbit. Buck to rabbit. No, I'm just kidding. And here we got Abby the witch. Sam, we got the whole family. We got the whole shebang. And Huskis, that's the one we are missing. We need to get that on the Firefly Funhouse. So let me know if you guys find him. I definitely want to get my hands on him just because he would add great. He would finish the whole collection of the Firefly Funhouse. So, yeah, but, uh, but let's get, let's get to unwrapping these guys. See what's inside. All right. And you already know I had to bring my man, Bray Wyatt. To be here for the unboxing of Firefly Funhouse accessories of Mercy the Buzzer box. So let's take a look. Let's keep going. See what's see what's inside. All right, and the first thing I believe I think this might be the Mercy the Buzzer cam cooler, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yep, definitely for your keeping your your cans cool. 
the summer, you know, it's coming around the corner, but with this quarantine, sipping on your front yard, I guess, but pretty cool. Not quite exact the same print. Wish they would have had this blueprint instead of the little red or orange or whatever color this is. But other than that, simple, ordinary can cooler. Let's see. Sorry about that. Just do plastic in your face. But next we got up. We got the boss horns, the Mr. McMahon devil horns, because he's a little devil. For your little devils out there that want to be acting like Vince McMahon or got something up your sleeve, put this on so we all know what you guys are up to. Nothing good, that's for sure. But let's keep going. Or actually, I didn't, hold up. I didn't really care about this. I didn't even open it. It's probably because I would probably never wear this. But I know someone who would. My girlfriend. Let me go ask her what she, if, what she thinks about them. And here they are. She said she would take them. She would wear them. I'm not too sure, but when she does, I'm gonna call. Them, I'm gonna call her Mrs. McMahon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, and ooh, feeling these little horns. They're actually pretty, pretty tightly packed in there with cotton or something, because. There's no room to be squishing it all the way down. These are actually pretty, pretty good. Not quality, but they're really good stuffing. So I don't think it would lose its shape anytime soon. But yep, yep. Moving on, moving on. We got that shmoney. That Vince McMahon shmoney. That we're going to be throwing around, around town. You feel me? Nah, I'm just kidding. But this is actually pretty cool. You got the, yeah, whoa, this is a lot of, too much bills, too much. But we got the Vince McMahon. On the front of the dollar bills. Too bad, Vince is only one billion. Ah, uh, you thought it would be one dollar. So each each one is worth one billion. Let me see. One, two, three, four. We get five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get ten billion dollars. Let me know what you guys would buy with $10 billion. I would buy the whole WWE ad. You knew know me. Already ready with $10 billion. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Aside from the $10 billion, the cooler and the boss's horns, we got a Mercy the Buzzard pin. Same back logo on the back. WWE license. So, yeah, pretty cool. Mmm. On the pile that we don't really care about. Nah, I'm just kidding. We, get, we care about this man. But we've all been waiting for. The real reason I ordered this box. Those two last items in the bag. In the bag. Let's see. Let's get these guys out. We're going to start off with the boss. And the horns are looking good, Mr. McMahon. Look, there they are. Ooh, I'm the witch. Let's pick Matt up. Let's see, get him out. Oop. I was dropping him on their heads. But another rubber brawler added to the collection. This time, the boss. This big man. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> if you guys saw Money in the Bank, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I thought that was the best scene of the whole Men in the Bank match. That was just too funny. He always sells his character. Love it. That's why I had to get the Mercy Box for the boss, Mr. McMahon. There it is. All right. But moving forward, let's go on to the star of the box. Mercy the Buzzard. And they even engraved, or not engraved, they even added the Mercy the Buzzard on the box. Pretty cool. You already know where that's going to sit. Sure. Don't worry, we got a spot for the boss too. So, all right, here it is. Coming, dropping them on their head. Oh, concussion right there. All right, so we got Mercy the Buzzer, almost the same height as the ooh, Mr. McMahon looking swan on the shoulders right there. Nah, but I'm just kidding. But they are they're almost the same size. Yeah, this is the Mercy the Buzzard box 
Firefly Funhouse Collector's Edition box. Pretty cool. So if you guys didn't, if you guys don't remember, let's just recap. We got Mercy the Buzzard Brawler, Mr. McMahon the Boss Brawler. We got the Buzzard Pin, the Can Cooler. Nah, Bray Wyatt. Nah, Bray Wyatt. We got the shirt up here though. The Boss Horns and the ten billion dollars back there. For you guys to spend on whatever you guys like on wwshop.com no i'm just kidding i didn't tell you guys to do that right but yeah and i will just like i did on the on the other previous video i'll show you guys how these two figure brawlers fit into the firefly funhouse so give me one second to move all these things out of the way and and i'll show you guys how they look and here is the two brawlers that we just got from the mercy box in the firefly funhouse ready to go let's see if how mercy's gonna look mercy's gonna go right there right next to abby the witch and oh, this looks so good guys these brawlers look really good make your firefly funhouse really pop out so if you guys pick these up i know you guys for sure will like them so let me know but vince mcmahon let's see where can he go i mean he usually goes behind the door so should we abandon all hope? Ye who exit here. Good shit. Let's see how Vince McMahon is going to fit behind the door. Ooh, the door is open. He abandoned all hope. And there is the devil himself. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. <laughs> So now we got one, two, three, four figure brawlers. And we got Bray Wyatt. Oh, man. We got Bray Wyatt in the Firefly Funhouse. So let me know what you guys think of my Firefly Funhouse in the comment section down below. Rate it 1 to 10. Let me know what I could fix, what I could work on. And yeah. So till next time, till you guys let the fiend in, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Let me in. Uh -huh.